while Jimmy Bro Bent appears. And a wild Sigma appears. That's a Sigma, right? Or what's it? That's what, what I've been told. Um, so tell us a bit more about it because when I first saw the pictures, I'm like, that's kind of Donker Fort ish or a type of this type of car. Yeah, what a same, yeah, same, yeah, same concept. Okay. Yeah. What is a middle of the car? Uh, uh huh. Rear wheel drive. And it's a uh, small wheelbase, but yeah. it's uh, funny to drive. Nice. So you told me like 220 or so horsepower? 220 horsepower. Yeah. Under 600 uh, kilograms. Under 600 kilos, so like power to weight ratio one on three. Should be quite interesting. Yeah. And most importantly, no power steering, no brake, uh, nothing, no ABS, no ESC. All the driver assist, we can't forget about it. It's all about you as a driver with your arms and your feet and your butt. And I think that's kind of it. Is there anything else that. Yeah, the weight distribution is 40 to 60. Yeah. yeah that's for us very important. The fuel tank is in the center of gravity. Okay. You can set up uh, anti roll bars, uh, uh, bump and depump on the spray, uh, dampers. Mm -hmm. You can set the campers and the right height. Cool. Uh, so you can set up the, the right. You can find the right setup for the for the for the sucker. Mm -hmm. Would you would you like? Yeah, and uh, can people buy it already or? Yeah, people can buy. It's uh, built for the some customer build. Mm -hmm. That's me, and uh, we are open to, to the first uh, uh, or orders to another orders. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And what's the rough price of it? It's about um, it can start under sixty hundred. Uh, uh, under 60,000 uh, euros. That's actually quite good. Because, uh, and, and and that's already comes with the, with the place, right? So that's already uh, homologated or is it? It's, really, it's R6 engines. Yeah. And then you can drive on the road, on uh, public mm -hmm. road, and you can use like normal car. Nice. Well, amazing. I'm looking forward to give it a go. So let's give it a try. Uh, it's it's quite limited when it comes to what we can put on the GoPros. We have our fancy mic, so hopefully it will pick it up some sound for you guys. And also a bit of speedometer cam. We'll see, we have at least feed cam. So, let's hop in and enjoy and do a lap.
I must say, wow, it was surprisingly good. Because the last time that I drove a similar type of car, there was of course Ariel Atom. And after that I said, nah, never again open seaters. That was just like terrifying. I mean also with this, if something happens seriously on the Nordschleife, then we're kind of done for it. But it felt significantly, you know, safer because you don't have the wind, you have this nice small wind deflector. Uh, also the brakes were not that sensitive, although it is also no ABS, nothing, and even like, well, those are like actually quite grippy tires. It was nice. Another funny thing, my main concern was when we already left Apex, I'm like, oh, shit, I'm actually on like short sleeves, I'm gonna get freezing there. But it's nice and warm inside the car, you get some heat from the engine, so it's actually a perfect cruiser. And it took me like, I don't know, well you can see, see it on the video, maybe like quarter, one third, maybe even half a track to adjust uh, to the gearing, uh, of course, because it's something that I haven't driven before and also the pedal position, so I was hitting the dead pedal when I was uh, supposed to hit the clutch. So that was like my only thing for the uh, for the first couple of corners. Uh, but after that, once we went through Brightshot, I would say after half a lap, it was uh, seamless heel and towing, understanding which gear we should be in. The revs go up also very nicely. It's a very easy car to drive and it's not easy to build such a car to make it easy car to drive. Because uh, most of the time they're just like death traps and hard to drive and you're scared for your life, but power delivery is linear, everything is very good and uh, I'll be honest with you, like I said at the beginning, I was kind of skeptical, but it's, uh, I would like to go out again next time, maybe, who knows. So it was a very good job, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. It's, um, it's good, it's good. And uh, I hope for you guys it's also, obviously, uh, the video was good and if you're interested in one of those, 60,000, you can get the GR86 and uh, put 30,000 euro worth of parts on, what we're doing right now. Or you can have something even more unique, you know? Uh, it's definitely, definitely interesting. And with plates, that's also important. That's uh, very cool, and that's something different. So, thanks again, guys, for the experience. Right. And then, see you next time. Maybe this one. Hope you were not too scared as a passenger. <laughs> oh, okay. Watch out, don't get swallowed by the XM behind you. <laughs>